Hi everybody, welcome to the next in my series of videos on running every day and what you should do before you jump onto that. So this is for you if you're a runner who runs let's say four to five times a week you've probably got a training plan or if you haven't you've got some idea of what you're training towards and you've got an idea as to how your average week might look. You're also probably doing one speed workout a week so I'd suggest no more than that if you are already running uh, four or five times a week just for safety really and also to allow yourself to benefit from those speed workouts. So what should you be thinking about? Well Practically, practically speaking, you've got maybe one or two days left in your week, dependent upon how many days you're running for already, where you can actually rest and you can actually recover from those, those runs that you're doing. So it's vitally important to make sure you keep that up and you keep that recovery window in there because for you, as a four or five time a week runner, the chances of you actually recovering properly from that amount, that training load, is is quite uh, quite already it's already restricted it's already quite low so you've got to maximize your rest if you haven't already got a rest or recovery plan that sits alongside your training then i'd suggest you you look into that in a serious way because that's going to be vital again as a side note your nutrition the amount of carbohydrate you're taking in if you're running that many times a week will also be key to how quickly you can recover but also it will be key to how you perform actually in those other runs and of course if you're trying to race at any point in the future it's going to be integral for that approach too so should you be running every day if you're already running four or five times a week and i would suggest that you need to prioritize your recovery rather than try and squeeze a couple more runs in and actually think to yourself well what benefit will they be could you use active recovery such as cross training perhaps instead perhaps you could do something like uh, a low level walk or an easy going walk um, anyone who's thinking about recovery running, I would give you the same caution as I did, generally speaking, about adding runs in there. Try not to do that um, because, you know, if you've got an outcome that you're, you're aiming towards and you've got a plan already, why put that at risk? So I would suggest that you, you ease back on that thought and instead concentrate on maximising the benefit of those four or five runs that you're already doing uh, rather than increasing the if you had lots of time and if you were feeling recovered and you weren't feeling fatigued, you might, uh, if you had the opportunity to do so, you might consider, say, adding a shortening your runs in one particular day and having a short run in the morning, a rest or even a 30, 20, 30 minutes sleep, which is a massive advantage to anyone who's training seriously, and then going out later in the day and having another short run. So you might only end up doing the same miles or even perhaps slightly less, but those two runs broken by that bit of rest and, or, or sleep will make a huge difference, a huge positive difference to your training. So, so perhaps that's another way of getting that extra running if you really wanted to. Hope this video finds you well, you're safe and everyone, you, and everyone in your family is doing well and I will speak to you soon. Cheers guys, bye now.